Hey, Dina here. Uh, there are a couple things I wanted to update you guys on. One, one kind of major thing and a couple minor things. The major thing is that I left Channel Awesome, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute, but I want to get the other things out of the way really quick first. Um, <laughs> almost no one seems to have noticed, but I'll mention this anyway. Um, I temporarily disabled my Facebook. Um, I really have not used Facebook in a year, probably, and I just, I don't know, Facebook has been just in general kind of leaving a bad taste in my mouth, and I just, for now, I just don't want to have anything to do with Facebook, and, but people kept messaging me and, uh, you know, like, trying to, you know, putting, um, images on my wall and stuff like that, and I, you know, I put, put up a message saying, okay, please stop trying to contact me on Facebook, I don't, I'm not using my account, but I don't want to close it, and people just kept st posting stuff, so, I mean, I, I don't, I don't blame anybody, because I know Facebook is, is really wonky, and, like, a lot of times, if you're following someone on Facebook, and they make a post, it'll, like, never show up in your feed, so, you know, no, no, I, I'm not mad at anybody or anything, but, yeah, I, I did kind of get tired of dealing with Facebook, especially after I decided I don't want to deal with Facebook anymore, I, like, I, I just kept getting dragged back there, so, um, so I found out that, um, you can actually, like, kind of temporarily disable your account, and basically, um, apparently the way it looks, it looks like my account doesn't exist anymore. If I go there without, um, if I go there on someone else's computer or whatever, it'll, um, it'll, like, just say the page doesn't exist. But it actually does still exist, you just can't see it because I've disabled it. So, I mean, I might go back to Facebook someday, just for now, I just don't really have any interest in Facebook. I just haven't been going there, and, you know, like I said. So, there you go. If you wondered, if you maybe thought I blocked you or something, chances are I, I probably didn't, unless you're a bot, in which case you don't care. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't block anybody or anything like that. I just, I've just temporarily disabled my Facebook account. The second one, and this one's actually good news, is that I finally got 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. I think sometime in December, um, I noticed that I was actually getting kind of close to 10,000 subscribers and I was really excited about it. And I thought that like, oh, maybe in any day now or in a couple of weeks or something, and it ended up taking six months to get there, but whatever. I mean, it's not a huge accomplishment considering my channel's 10 years old, but... Whatever, you know what, a, um, a milestone is a milestone, so I'm actually kind of happy about that. So, um, I plan on making a video about it later. I'm thinking of making my own, uh, <laughs> obviously YouTube doesn't send play buttons for that small of an amount of subscribers, but I'm thinking of making my own play button out of cardboard. <laughs> so, just, that's maybe a fun video I'll do in the, in the near future. Okay, so Channel Awesome. Um, well, if you're here for, like, drama or something, you're gonna be disappointed, because it- I didn't have a huge fallout with them or anything. Um, I just, um, I just kind of wanted to talk about it because, um, I don't know, I just- on the off chance that anyone w would wonder why I love Channel Awesome, um, I just thought I'd share it. I've had kind of a general dissatisfaction with how the higher-ups run the site, and I felt that way for a long time. And, um, for a long time, um, I, I basically relied on Channel Awesome for most of my views, and I just wasn't ready to leave for a long time. So, um, it's, it's really a lot of little problems, and I could, like, you know, be all rambly and name them all off. What it comes down to is a lack of communication. They, um, it, it feels like the higher-ups just don't want to, don't want to, tell us what's going on, or, or, they will, but then they don't, there's no, like, they kept coming up with all these little rules, and I don't mind the rules, a lot of them make sense, like, one of them was like, um, we don't want you to put your video up on Channel Awesome if your video's already been on YouTube for, I forget the, the amount of time, like, if it's already been on YouTube for mo more than a week, they don't want you to put on Channel Awesome, which makes sense, because everyone's already watched it on y your YouTube already, and, and, you know, it would, it goes up on CA late and people are like, why, why is this video going up so late? I've already watched it. So I understand, like, that's an example of a rule I totally understand. The problem is that, like, there's no one place where they post a list of rules. They just sort of, like, mention it over Skype. Uh, there's a, there's a Channel Awesome, um, Skype chat. It's like, mention it over there and you're expected to just remember, you know? And, again, if there are only, like, a couple rules you know, and they were really obvious or whatever, you know, it, that would be fine, but 
it got so that there were more and more little rules. Like, and for, there was a time where they didn't allow you to um, advertise your Patreon account because I think they didn't understand what page Patreon was still kind of new at the time and I didn't I don't think they quite understood what it was I think they thought it was e-begging and they were just like no Patreon but they wouldn't tell anybody that it's just like if you tried to put up a video advertising your Patreon account they just wouldn't post it and you wouldn't find out why they didn't post your video until you asked them about it they don't even tell you like oh by the way we're not gonna post this video because of this they don't even bother with that you know it's stuff like that and, uh, and then, and then after a certain point, they changed their mind about Patreon, and they didn't tell anybody about that either, and, like, someone wanted to put their Patreon video up at some point, and they weren't able to, but then someone else's Patreon video went up, and she was like, what's this all about? How come they can put up their video and I can't? And they're like, oh, we changed our minds about that. It's like, would have been nice if you told us. But, you know, I mean... You know, shit happens, mistakes get made, and it's it's not a huge deal, but there was just a lot of little things like that. And like I said, a lot of them, those were just some random examples, but a lot of them just came down to lack of communication, and they just weren't, they could have been a lot more clear about some of the rules than they had been. I should point out that I personally didn't have any serious issues with them. Like, I had, there was no falling out with me, be between me and Channel Awesome or anything like that. Um, it's just that, you know, I, you know, you witness these kind of things and you see people getting kicked off the site or leaving the site out of anger because they've been treated really badly. And you just see that happen enough times you think, I, I don't know if I want to be part of this site anymore. And I've just been feeling that way for a long time. Like, I don't know if I want to be with this site that treats people badly and has a really bad reputation. And, and Channel Awesome doesn't really ever stick up for themselves or, or you know, explain in public, like make, put out some sort of public explanation about this is what really happened and here's our side of the story. Like, they have this kind of unwritten policy of like, ignore it and hope it goes away. But the thing is, the internet never forgets anything. You know, any anything you do on the internet is there to stay. And that's basically what comes down to. I was starting to feel not quite right about staying on the site. And after a certain point, I noticed I was only getting about 20% of my views from cha through Channel Awesome's website. Like, if I was perfectly happy with how the site was being run, I wouldn't mind continuing to post my videos on there. It's it's enough of 20%, eh, about 19 to 20%. That's, you know, a good, pretty decent amount. And, and and it would have warranted me continuing to stay on the site if, if I was happy with how things are going. But, uh, you know, after a while, I'm just like... 19, 19 to 20%. That just doesn't justify sticking around. What was the last straw for me personally? And this is a really minor thing, but you have to realize this is just... This is after, like, a few years of me thinking, I don't know how much longer I want to stay on this site. And I guess you can almost say that I was sort of waiting for that thing to... For that one thing to happen that was going to make me go, all right, I'm done. Like I said, it's minor, and I know it's minor, but... Um, I was featured on the site last week. And what I have always done every year that I've been featured, I think this is the third year they're doing it, or... Uh, yeah, I think this is the third year they're doing it. What I've always done is, you know, my videos always go up on Saturday on Channel Awesome. Um, my video would go up on Saturday. Tuesday was when they would, you know, uh, put up the featured video. Um, so my video would go up on Saturday. Um, as always, and it would go up again on Tuesday, and it would stay until the following Tuesday. And, it, you know, and if it was a two-parter, like, part two would go up the following Saturday, and it would be on there for the remainder. Um, what happened this year is, like, I noticed I was being featured. In fact, I even, like, did a, I did a freaking Silent Hill video for the first time in years, thinking, great, this is a video that I want to have featured. I'm going to really, you know, put a lot of work into this video, and, and it's going to get featured, and, you know, maybe that'll, you know, help me, and, and, you know. So I put my video up on Saturday, like I always do. Tuesday came, I see my little avatar on at the bottom of Channel Awesome saying I'm the feature producer, and I'm like, huh, my video can go up. Well, you know, maybe they're some. I think I recall that sometimes they're a little bit late putting up the featured video. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll wait a day and see what happens. I wait a day, and my video doesn't get put up, and I'm like, why aren't they putting up my video? Did they stop doing that? I go back and I go back and um, there's sort of like an internal website that we can look at. That's sort of like a bulletin board. This is really where they should be posting the rules in a spot where you can see it easily. But 
you know, they'll like, oh, here's a new rule and it'll be on a post that gets buried, you know, but, um, you know, I, I looked at the feature, there's a list of the, what the feature producers are going to be for the year. And, uh, and there's some little, in, there's some information at the top, which I read and it's like, your video has to go up the same week that you're being featured. I'm like, that didn't happen the previous two times. Why, when, when did this rule come up? Could be that they announced it and I just don't remember. But that just got me thinking about how they have so many freaking rules now. They're all minor things, but you know, they have all these rules and when you break a rule, they don't even tell you. You have to like go, hey, why didn't my video go up? And they, t you know, and they don't say anything until you ask them. And the site has just grown too big. I mean, I, maybe it was always, I guess it was kind of always like this, even before it got that big, but I've always kind of, that, that attitude that, well, we don't have time to contact you, you know, like, like what, why don't you have time to s spend two seconds typing me a really quick little Skype message telling me why my video isn't going up or whatever. And it's like, you know, wh why, how long does that really take? Why can't you take the time to do that? And it's like, they just don't want to take the time to communicate with us. Like we're not an important part of the site, you know? But th yeah, they've been doing this thing where they come up with all of these rules and they don't tell you when you've broken them. They don't give you any kind of warning before they, you know, t like you make a mistake a couple of times and you get, you know, deleted from the site. This hasn't happened to me, but I know it happened to other people. They don't even tell you. You just, one day you notice, oh, I'm not listed on the site anymore. What's going on? And they tell you, oh, well, you did this. It's like, you, you couldn't like, warn them or or let them know that they made a mistake before you fucking punish them basically like there's no warning or anything and it's like oh well it's your responsibility to make sure you don't mess up and it's like i don't know i mean i i, I sort of get it in a way like i know we're not children and yeah we should be trying to follow the rules but i mean people make mistakes and it's a little weird. It's almost like they're, they, they're, they treat us almost like they're hoping we mess up. Like they're trying to thin the herd or something. Like they want fewer producers and this is their method for getting rid of as many as possible. I don't know. That, that's, that's purely my opinion. I have nothing to really back that up. But by all that I've said, I'm sure you can tell that I've just had kind of a negative feeling about the site for a while. And at some point something was going to happen that would be that last straw and I would be like, I'm done. And, um, that was it. That, that was it. That they didn't, they didn't put up my featured video because I put it up on a Saturday instead of a Sunday, even though in previous years that wasn't the problem. So, yeah, again, I know it's a minor thing, but, you know, it, it, this is coming on, like, a few years of me feeling a little bit uneasy about the site in general. But, um, you know, I, I don't, I don't mean to badmouth Channel Awesome. Um, I, I honestly do... Uh, I honestly do, you know, hope for the best for them in the future. I hope they're successful. Um, I definitely don't hope have anything against uh, the other producers on Channel Awesome. I don't even have anything against the higher-ups personally. I just don't like the way they've been handling the website and how they've been treating the producers overall. But yeah, I don't want to end on a negative note. So, um, uh, it's, it's interesting, um, when I was writing my, uh, uh, I wrote kind of a resignation letter uh, to the guy who we normally communicate with, one of the, the higher up that we normally communicate with. I, I sent him a resignation letter over Skype, and um, you know, I went to I went to kind of double check and figure out how long have I been on Channel Awesome, and you know, I, I did in in back in December. I realized that it was uh, my 10 year anniversary. The 10 year anniversary of my YouTube channel. I've actually been with Channel Awesome for eight years. Like I had only been making videos for two years when I joined Channel Awesome. It's like I was a baby. <laughs> it's like I grew up with Channel Awesome. It's it's weird that I'm suddenly not on the site anymore. Um, I, I it, it was hard for me to leave too because, um, you know, I'm... I'm, I'm that sort of person who is really afraid of change and intentionally leaving a situation that I'm just really used to, that I've just been part of for a long time, that was really hard. And, uh, so basically when, when my video, my featured video didn't go up, I knew right then I had to, I had to decide. I'm like, can I stay and put up with more of this or do I leave? And 
I think I immediately knew that was it. Um, and that, that really stressed me out. I, uh, I got very little sleep that night. It, it was a really hard decision to make. I, I made it kind of quickly, because that, it was that, and then, like, the, what was it, the next day? I don't remember. I, it's kind of a blur. I had kind of a hectic week last week in general. Um, we took Luna to the vet, so that's another thing that's kind of on the, you know, forefront of my mind. Uh, I don't remember if it was the next day or two days after, but basically, it was like probably Thursday that I looked up the information that made me realize that they weren't gonna put my video up and it wasn't just late or something. And then Friday was when I went, okay, today is when I'm gonna let them know that I'm leaving the site. And, uh, yeah, that was, I mean, like I said, I, I spent, I don't know how long typing out, typing and retyping this resignation letter, and, uh, resignation letter, and, um, none of us are actually, like, hired by Channel Awesome, by the way, just, just because, just to, to, you know, it's kind of a common misconception that people seem to think that, you know, we're employed by Channel Awesome, and when we get kicked off the site or we leave, like, we got fired or something. It's technically not. I mean, some people use the word fired, but there's no firing because they don't pay us. We make all of our money through YouTube. But anyway, yeah, I spent a long time writing that letter, and I wanted it to be just right because I was really nervous about leaving, and I, I didn't want to burn that bridge. Maybe I am burning it with this video, but you know, I wanted to do it the right way. I wanted to be professional and like I said, it's not like I had some huge falling out with them. It's just I've been dissatisfied with the way they were on the site for years and I finally just decided to leave. So that's all it was really. But yeah, I was, I was trying to, to be a little more positive and then I backtracked into the negative bit. Um, yeah, I've been with Channel Awesome for eight years and which is, I was practically new to making videos when, I mean, I wasn't really that new. I mean, I've been making videos for two years and there's a lot you can learn in two years, I guess. Um, my first video to go up on Channel Awesome was Thrill Kill and, and I was already kind of settling into my style a little bit. I hadn't quite gotten there, but you know, I've definitely grown a lot since then. It's crazy. But you know, I, I liked being part of the community and I still technically am. There's, um, you know, I, I plan on anyone who I was, you know, already keeping in touch with who is also on Channel Awesome, I'm gonna continue to keep in touch with them. And, uh, but, um, it's just, it's weird. I, I, you know, a lot of times, like, the videos other people would put up on Channel Awesome, I would kind of take that into account when I was making my own videos. Like, a lot of people are talking about this thing, and it's like, sometimes that'll inspire me, you know? Like, uh, like, I remember seeing, uh, both Nostalgia Critic and Mike J had talked about the Jaws sequels and how bad they were, like Jaws 3 and Jaws the Revenge, and, and that got that got the wheels turning for me, and I'm like, I'm gonna talk about the original Jaws, because that's a great movie and no one ever talks about it on the internet, because it doesn't suck. So, you know, stuff like that, it's... It feels a little weird not being part of the site anymore, because I, it's just been, it's been... Because it's just been a huge part of my video making process for the last eight years and it's gonna be a little not being on there is gonna be a little hard to get used to, but um so yeah, I, I do appreciate again, I don't wanna end on a sour note. I do appreciate them letting me be on the side. I really do think that at least in the earlier days of my making videos, I think it helped a lot. I I, I think I'm sure like a lot, probably most of the people's most of my subscribers um, probably found me through Channel Awesome, so I definitely owe them for that. And, um, so yeah, I, I don't want to seem ungrateful because I do appreciate them letting me on the side and how much that helped me grow my channel. And, you know, I, I realize not everyone gets to be on a big site like Channel Awesome and not everyone has that opportunity to, you know, have a, a place to post your videos where they're going to be seen by a lot more people. So I definitely appreciate them giving me that opportunity. I, so yeah, being on Channel Awesome definitely had its perks, and I, I don't mean to make it sound like it was completely a bad experience. It's just, there were things about it that always kind of bothered me, and after a certain point, you know, sometimes the bad outweighs the good, and, you know. So I think that's it for that. I know I, I mentioned in passing that we took Luna to the vet. Um, those of you who've seen pictures of Luna, you might notice that she has, well, of course you've noticed if you've seen pictures of her, she has a uh, missing eye, which she's she's been like that since we got her. It's been like that since we got her, and she's been kind of extra cranky lately, and we're worried it might be bothering her. But they looked at it, and they don't think it looks that bad, but um, she's kind of, she's getting a little old, and she's a little thin and a little dehydrated, 
And uh, they did some blood work on her, which they're, I think tomorrow they're going to give us the um, the results of that. But most likely she's okay. It just I mentioned taking my cat to the vet. I didn't want anybody to worry about it. Um, so, yeah. Um, I guess that's all I have to say about, about um, Channel Awesome and everything else. Um, I guess if you have any questions, post it below. I guess if it turns out that I've you know, not mention something I should have. Maybe I'll make a follow-up video, but more likely, more likely if you ask me a question, I'll just answer it in the comments section. So, so yeah, that's, that's all I can think of to say for that. Um, I guess that's it for now. See you next time.